Samsung DeX and One UI 6.1 have some pretty incredible features. Daniel here from Sam Mobile TV, and today I'm going to show you five ways to use DeX that you probably aren't doing. Samsung DeX is that amazing bit of software that turns your phone into your desktop computer. Hence DeX, desktop experience. So kicking off with number one, and this one is not even really a conventional one. It's just an extra add-on through a good lock module that not a lot of you probably know about. In good lock, which I'll always preface this, is downloadable through the Galaxy Store, not the Play Store. There is a module in the Life Up tab called Multistar. Inside Multistar, on devices that have Samsung DeX, so pretty much all the flagship, excluding Z Flip, you have the I Love Samsung DeX module. Now, I love Samsung DeX. I love Samsung DeX, but I also love what this module can do with Inside Good Lock. The one I really like to turn on is high resolutions for displays. So if you've got a 4K display, you can actually run DeX in 4K. It's great. Turn this on. You can select the resolution for Samsung DeX inside Samsung DeX settings, and 4K will be there. You've also got the ability to basically overclock Samsung DeX. By default, uh, especially if you haven't got external power connected to it, DeX will only allow five apps to open at once. With I Love Samsung DeX, you can trigger it to open more if you choose to do so. There's other things in here as well, the ability to auto open the last app you were using in Samsung DeX. Basically, if you're using an app before DeX and then you launch DeX, it'll automatically open that up. Then you have the option if you want the taskbar to open up after a period of time, when you hover the mouse over it, you can set that time here. That's number one. Number two is wireless DeX. And I love wireless DeX because you don't need any cables and you can connect to a capable monitor or TV without any wires whatsoever. And there's two ways you can operate it. You can either use the phone as your trackpad and your keyboard, or if you want to, you can hook up a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. And then again, no wires whatsoever, and you've got a full productivity suite available to you. This can be really helpful if you're in a pinch for presentations, because you can hook up the phone wirelessly to a TV or monitor, and then launch PowerPoint presentations, and then control it using the phone. Very, very easy to set up and gives you complete freedom to sort of walk around the room while you're doing your presentation. It's very easy to activate it. You simply go to the quick panel, press DEX, and it'll automatically search for compatible monitors and TVs to connect to. Number three is DEX for PC. So you're not just limited to Samsung DEX on your phone or on monitors. There's also a Windows PC version of Samsung DEX, which operates exactly the same. What I really like with this is you can operate DEX and Windows simultaneously side by side. So you can have the DEX platform running on one screen and your Windows platform running on the other. You can control the Samsung DeX environment using your laptop's keyboard and mouse. And then you can also drag and drop things between the two. So if you had files that you need to interchange between both platforms, you can do that and it'll copy and paste it onto it. Really convenient if you're doing a lot of work on your main computer and you need to maybe access apps or respond to messages from your phone, you can do that with Samsung DeX open in a more structured, productive environment. It's very simple to activate. You can do it in two ways. You can either use the wireless DeX solution that I showed you before. It won't run as smoothly as a cable, but it's available to do so. Or, aforementioned cable, where you can connect a USB cable to the computer. It'll launch Samsung DeX with a little bit more stability and kind of top your phone up with battery at the same time. Both ways work. Both ways are encouraged up to you which one you want to use. Number four, and we're kind of moving away from mobile phone decks and onto the tablet, you have dual screen decks. I wouldn't say it's necessarily perfect dual screen, but it's kind of neat. You can launch decks on an external monitor from your tablet, but then your tablet screen can actually still be one UI, which means you can control both environments from a keyboard and mouse should you have one plugged in. There's settings inside Samsung DeX that enable you to flow the cursor between the two screens, and you can choose which side you want it to flow between. If you're a Samsung DeX only user and you work on your tablet, having the monitor be DeX and your tablet screen be one UI means you can still do things separately on each screen, which is really nice. There is some limitations to it, like you can't drag apps back and forth between the two environments, which is a bit of a shame, but the fact that you can operate them independently means you can do more multitasking. You can have the deck screen have be open with a video and take notes on the other one. Kind of neat. Also, in my exploration of using this, I actually figured out it works for the phone too. Samsung have added support for this on the smartphone to flow from the monitor to the phone screen, which I thought was really great. And number five, and this is exclusively 
to the tablets, there is a new DEX. And by DEX, I mean that it's called that by name only. But I can see what Samsung are trying to do here. In between standard One UI and full-blown Samsung DeX, New DeX basically is like a rebadged version of One UI in that it will kind of change the look ever so slightly. You'll get like a permanent taskbar down the bottom and apps can be resized a little bit easier and it's more optimized for keyboard and mouse. But the thing is when you first launch it, you don't think anything's changed because nothing really has. It is purely there as some sort of in-between to sort of bridge the gap between tablet and PC and give you a bit more fluid controls using a keyboard and mouse in that environment. To activate it, you go to the Samsung DeX settings on your tablet and you hit new DeX and you hit launch. Now, if that's your default, every time you hit DeX on the tablet, it'll launch new DeX. To switch to classic DeX, you need to go back into the DeX menu, hit classic DeX and then launch it. And then that becomes your default. Just be aware of that because the new DeX will launch by default too if you've recently updated your tablet. Let me know which way of using DeX is your favorite. Let me know if you've got a different way of using DeX down in the comments below. I'll just throw in another one. Entertainment purposes is great, especially when traveling. The ability to use wireless DeX or HDMI DeX into a TV and have your streaming platforms on one screen and the tablet screen on the other is priceless. I really enjoy that too. Thanks for tuning in to Sam Mobile TV. Make sure you hit subscribe. Go check us all out on our other platforms and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah.